Hey guys, what is up? This is Techno HD and back with another video on my channel. And today in this video, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Oppo F11 Pro. So without any further ado, let's get started. The one which I'm unboxing is the Thunder Black variant with a 6 GB of RAM and a 64 GB of storage, and it is retailing at the price of 25,540 rupees. After opening the box, we get the OPPO paper stuff, inside that we get the SIM card ejecting tool, a basic cover for the phone which is pretty good and some reading material from OPPO. Below that we get the handset itself wrapped with the plastic written on it the OPPO F11 Pro and some other details about the phone. When I remove the plastic covering, you can have a first glance at the phone. The phone looks premium, the build quality is awesome and the bluish black and purple combination make the phone look authentic and outstanding. Below the handset, we get a micro to USB cable and a MOOC 3.0 charger rated 5 volt and 20 volt. We also get the Oppo's original earphones with a 3.5 mm jack, which are compatible with all devices except the latest Apple's iPhones in the market. The phone has a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus display that comes with 19 is to 5 is to 9 aspect ratio. It has a bezel less panoramic screen with no visible notch. The screen to body ratio of this phone is extraordinary. It has a 90.90 screen to body ratio which makes the phone look beautiful and attractive. Instead of the notch, OPPO has provided a self rising front camera which looks interesting and futuristic. For screen protection, OPPO has provided the protection of Corning Gorilla Glass 5 in this phone. When we talk about the design, at the back side we have a dual camera, fingerprint scanner and at the bottom we get a 3.5mm headphone jack, a mic, micro USB port and stereo speakers. When we talk about the right hand side we get the SIM slot, power button and at the left hand side we get the volume buttons. And yes, at the back side we get the polycarbonate body which comes with a glass finishing. This phone comes with a dual SIM slot and its memory can be extended by using a memory card up to 128GB. When we talk about the look and feel, then no doubt the provided design, the gradient look, appears to be really premium even when you hold it in your hand. When we move forward to the camera of this phone, then at the back side we get a dual rear camera with one main camera of 48 megapixel with f1.7 aperture and the second is a duck sensor of 5 megapixel which comes with the ultra night feature which helps to take beautiful photos in low light. Now when we talk about the selfie camera, then in OPPO F11 Pro, you will get a 16 megapixel rising selfie camera with f2.0 aperture. When we talk about the camera features, then we get a bunch of important features like the night mode, pano, expert mode, time lapse, slow mo, google lens and portrait mode. When we talk about the video recording, then here we can shoot up to 1080 and 720p and yes, here at both sides we get the EIS support. Taking a glance at the processor, we get the MediaTek Helio P70 chipset which is an octa-core processor and it is clocked at 2.1 GHz. For multitasking, we get a 6 GB RAM and a 64 GB of storage. In phone, we get a hybrid slim slot and a 4000 mAh battery and it comes with a 3.0 VOOC fast charging. Here we get the Color OS 6.0 that is based on Android Pie. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. So this was the OPPO F11 Pro and the thing is that uh, it's been long since I've uploaded a new video on my channel and this was a comeback video for me and I would be uploading regularly now. So the thing is that you, the uh, background you're watching here is from Ramgar at Levitate. It's a, they have very great cottages, cottages built up here and you can also buy one. I bought them and uh, you, I would be providing the link for this cottage you can, you can book your holidays here. So thank you for watching. Keep loving, keep supporting Techno HD. This is Techno HD signing off. Bye.